Today, your learning target is going to be identifying character traits that fit Ethan and Mac from I Need My Monster. So in order to do that, we're going to go over a few new character traits. So a new trait is busy. Busy means you're working hard or concentrating on tasks so that you're never free to do anything else. So some of you might feel busy with work when you're constantly moving from one thing to the next or when you have a lot of things to do at your house or maybe you play sports and you're just constantly doing something. That would mean you are busy. Frustrated means upset or angry. So you can get frustrated sometimes with people or with work and it happens to everyone. Frustrated means you are just, you might feel overwhelmed, you might just be over it. If you're upset or angry about something, frustrated is just kind of like a huh, feeling. Quiet. If you're quiet, it means you do not bother others and you keep to yourself. So sometimes people in school are really quiet for a few weeks and they start getting comfortable and talking to more people. But some people stay quiet the whole year. They just talk to maybe their few friends and not much else. Another new word is clumsy. If you are clumsy, it means you're awkward in moving or carrying things. So you might drop things a lot or bump into tables. I know in school, I am constantly bumping into things. I'm getting bruises on my legs or I fall. So I am a clumsy person. Adventurous means you're outgoing and you like to try new things. So some people like to think of this as like you like going on adventures. So like you like exploring things. But adventurous just means you're not afraid to try something new. So say there's a different type of food and at the restaurant and you'll be like, oh yeah, I'll try that. Um, like once I was asked if I wanted to try eating some octopus and I was not adventurous that day. So I did not try it. Independent means you like to do things alone. So you keep to yourself. If you're independent and you're keeping to yourself, um, it's by a choice and you're, you're capable of doing things on your own. You don't need as much help, maybe. Another new word is competitive, and that means you're always wanting to be the best. So you can be competitive in sports, you can be competitive at school, you can be competitive at home and family situations. So you just always want to be the best out of everyone that's involved. If you are intelligent, that means you are smart. Like I like to say, you have a lot of knowledge in that noggin. Your brains are nice and big. So intelligent means you are smart. Thoughtful means you like doing things to show you are thinking of others. So thoughtful would be like making gifts or cards that are homemade and just thinking of others. Maybe um, going out of your way to do something kind to someone that you know is having a bad day. That would mean you are being thoughtful. Stubborn means you're set on doing what you want and you're unwilling to change your mind. So if you are stubborn, you are not wanting to budge. You're set, you're good, you know what you want, and there's nothing wrong with that. Another word is goofy. Goofy just basically means foolish. You might use it as a synonym for silly. Um, goofy just means foolish. You mess up or you're not caring much about the certain things. Indecisive is lacking the ability to make decisions quickly and effectively. So that's when you can't decide if you want this or that, salt or pepper, red or green. You don't know which one you want. So if you're indecisive, you might have trouble ordering food sometimes or like picking out a color of a shirt you wanna buy because you don't know which one to choose. Determined kind of goes along with stubborn. If you are determined, you've made a firm decision and you're not going to change it. You want to get it done, you're going to get it done, and you keep telling yourself that. You tell yourself, I am determined to get this done. Sloppy is another word, and it means careless. You might relate this to being messy, like some people are sloppy if their rooms are kind of crazy sometimes. Um, so those two are synonyms. Picky, meaning you're very careful or maybe even too careful about choosing or accepting things. So some people are picky eaters, some people are picky about the clothes they wear, and that just means they have a very set um, idea of what they do or do not want. And then wise. Wise means you have a deep understanding of something, so you have a lot of wisdom. Um, my grandma was very wise about cooking. She always knew exact the exact ingredients. She didn't have to look at recipes. She knew the measurements. She had a lot of knowledge on that, so she was wise. So if someone's wise, it means they have a deep understanding, they have a lot of wisdom, and they have a lot of knowledge. Today, you're going to listen to this read aloud, I Need My Monster. 
and this is all on canvas, and you are going to be listing two character traits for Ethan and for Mac. So for Ethan and Mac, you're gonna list two traits. On your assignment page, when you are totally done, when you've listed your two traits for each of them, you are going to write something down for your bonus point to show me that you watched this whole video. So I want you to write down after you've answered your two traits or listed your two traits, I want you to write boom with an exclamation point. So I know you watched the whole video and you did your best.